Hey guys, um, I have to put the phone close, close to me because I can't talk that loud. But uh, here's a quick update. I'm really sorry that I haven't been replying to anybody, but it just... I just can't really focus too well to write and write and write at the moment. I'm just... I just want to get better. I just want to go home. I just... I, uh, I just I just want to go home, so I'll I'll catch up with everybody once I get back. So um, yesterday I finally saw the doctor at night, and he said uh, my hemo hemoglobin when I came in was seven, which is already very low, and it lowered down to six, which meant there was still bleeding in my liver. And so they gave me two units of blood, and then they wanted to see if that stabilized or not. Um, and uh, they've kept me on uh, Demerol, Demerol shots. Right now I'm on oxy, oxycodone or something. And um, so apparently my blood leveled out, and that was their main concern. So they put me up here. Uh, in a surgical ward just to monitor me some more and if my blood stays level then I get to go home tomorrow um when I breathe I've been feeling like this bubble in my chest like um like an air bubble and I was concerned especially when I'm sitting up I was like there's an like an air bubble in my chest and uh it turns out that's my rib <laughs> um, when I breathe in and out my rib just flaps around it's right up here um my whole side hurts like I my elbow is bruised up um I had broken glass in my hands and stuff and uh I don't know just a mess like my back is killing me that's probably where my kidney damage is but um hopefully it should stabilize and even out this is the, probably the worst I've ever been injured in my entire life, but not probably, it actually is. And um, I got so lucky because we were turning this way. And we were turning this way. And as we were going this way, another car was coming straight. So they kind of, uh, they T-boned us is what happened. And um, they hit on my side and uh, the entire passenger side window um, smashed in. My glasses were knocked right off my face and my headband was knocked right off my head. Somehow my glasses are not broken or anything. Josh found them, but the car is like totaled. I'm so lucky, so lucky that I didn't lose an eye. I didn't die. I didn't break like my leg because my whole hip, my whole leg is killing me, it makes it so hard to walk. I didn't scratch up my face with the broken glass, like nothing like that happened. I'm still not happy with these injuries, I mean, I'm, I'm still scared, freaking out, and in pain. I'm not in pain right now because of the medication, but it might take like six weeks or so for me to heal and my rib to heal and like, this is going to be my Christmas, you know not being able to move and it's been so humiliating like having to lay here and use a bedpan because I can't get up fucking helpless having other people have to wipe me laying in my own piss you know like relying on everybody else it's disgusting and it's embarrassing and it just I just want this to be over with Josh we don't know where he hit or what happened but He's got scratches and stuff on his right, right here. Um, his whole body hurts as well. But uh, out of everybody on both cars, I think I got off the worst because I actually had internal bleeding and stuff. Um, but Josh's story, he's got red marks all over his chest. But we think he's okay. I, I kept saying if you if you need to get checked out, you need to get checked out. Don't worry about me. Just say, I want him to be okay. 
so he has to work tomorrow so he's not here right now and um he didn't want to leave me like he just he kept trying to hug me and kiss me and it's like in tears like I don't want to go I don't want to go and I felt so bad like I didn't want him to go either and it sucks because yesterday was like the perfect day I'd, I videoed our day out and stuff and like he bought me this Christmas teddy bear and he bought me this Ursula thing and a t-shirt and like he spoiled me for some reason yesterday really bad like we went out to eat and the food was delicious it was perfect the drinks were perfect and we had just stopped and gotten milkshakes to go home and it was like the perfect day and all day we were just like I love you so much I'm so happy I'm so happy and then and then this happened and it makes you realize in the blink of an eye you could lose your life you could you could die or, or be disabled or whatever just you know I don't even want to be in a car again for a while like I saw it happening in slow motion I saw us turning though the car didn't slow down at all and I was like oh my god we're gonna hit and I yelled out Josh and then bam and everything went black and I heard an alarm going and then broken glass and Josh jumped out and went to go see if the other people were okay because it was an older couple and um I was in the car like help me help me help me I couldn't breathe like I couldn't I couldn't breathe at all that that would have been when I broke my rib and my lungs started to collapse and um and I had on that beautiful black dress you guys would have seen that crisscrosses in the front it's lace up and it's long and it's held up by hooks I've had that dress since 2001 it's like my favorite dress. It's the dress I flew over here in, and I was actually trapped in the car. My clothes, you know, because the passenger side was totaled and squished, and so my clothes were caught, and I was trapped, and I I was like a fucking dying rat or something, you know. I, I was trying to rip myself out, so I tore my the bottom of my dress just to get out. My strap tore. Those could have been fixed, you know, like cut off the bottom of the dress, make it a little bit shorter because it was long anyway, and um, I ripped my boots off, Josh pulled me out of the car, and I was just in agony, like I couldn't breathe, I was dizzy, my whole back hurt, everything hurt, I thought I was bleeding everywhere, but it was all the, the drinks we had with us that shattered, and, and um, they laid me down on the ground, and I just, I guess my body was in shock, and my whole body was shaking, head to toe, and I could barely focus, and, uh, and then they said, uh, because I hit my whole head uh, on the window. I had some bruising on my brain as well. They haven't seen anything that caused them concern with that, so they haven't really brought that up again. Though that's causing me concern. Um, and uh, when I got in, because of the nature of my injuries, I was in a neck brace and everything, and they uh, cut my dress off of me. And so... I've completely lost that dress. I'll never be able to get another one like it. It was, it was fucking expensive even when I got it. And now it will be... Even if I found another one, it will be out of reach. It's like my favorite one. Next week was our six-month anniversary. We were going to go out and do stuff. And we were trying to get a, a working stove. Because we don't have a working stove. A working oven. Because I was going to make Christmas dinner. And now I'm going to be virtually bedridden because it hurts so much to move and everything's changed again and I've been here two months I haven't even finished getting like my license and things like that and and now I've got this whole this set of problems to deal with but I'm just so glad that Josh is okay and he didn't die I didn't die I didn't get hurt worse because it could have been so much worse it was the scariest thing to ever happen and I kept hoping maybe he'll just say, you know, I just hurt because I got shook around in the crash and there's nothing wrong. And he comes in and he's like, well, you've got some bruising on your brain. You've got a broken rib. You've got a deflated, partially deflated lung. You've got kidney damage or kidney bruising, contusions. And you literally got a cut on your liver and there's some blood there. And I'm like, oh my God. And I just covered my face and started crying. And, um, 
it, it is so fucking scary. And Josh is like, um, I'm, I'll do everything. He's like, I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'm going to, I'll cook, I'll clean, I'll do everything for you. Just, I just want you to be okay. Like he's, he feels so bad because he was the one driving. Um, the fault of the accident was on our side because of the car, apparently, um, because the car was in kind of bad shape, um, and it had started locking up, uh, like, the transmission was slipping to start with, and, um, he said he was trying to, he was trying to turn or stop or something in the car, it just wasn't, it wouldn't, and he was freaking out, and he saw the car coming, and there was nothing he could do, and, uh, I don't even think the airbags deployed, so... He's going to look into um, doing something about that. Um, and it was a nice car, too, but it was just, obviously, there's a lot of problems with it. It was his mom's car, so that definitely sucks because now she doesn't have a vehicle either. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it. Just thank you, everybody, for your, your well wishes, even your prayers. Because uh, I'm not disrespectful like that. Like, uh, you know, it's really sweet. Um, thank you for being concerned and wanting to know how everything was. And again, I'm really sorry. I've checked online periodically. Or I've had Josh grab my phone. But I just, I don't have it in me to write back right now. Especially because like this I'm okay because my arm's not moving. But to move my arms and write hurts my rib because my rib is cracked. It's the second rib up here at the top, but on that side. And so I'm left-handed, so I write, and I just say everything I do, I can feel my rib snapping in and out, and that's not a good feeling. It sucks. So um, thank you guys again, and I'll update you when I get home, and um, I don't know, just... I'm just glad I'm alive. Uh, I just wish that this hadn't happened. Like, I wish that we had just gone home and made it home. We were on our way home. I just, I just rewind, rewind three hours and just, I don't know. I don't even know. You know what I mean? I just, I don't even want to be in a car. And we're so far away from home right now. We're like, we're quite a ways. It's going to take a while to get back. And it's going to, the ride is going to kill me the bumps and shit's gonna hurt my kidneys and everything. I'm gonna need to be doped up before I go. But I'm gonna go back to sleep now because I'm fucking exhausted. Um, and it's taking a lot out of me to talk this much. But, uh, I'll see you guys around and, and thank you again so much. And, um, thank you, Josh, too, for being here for me and trying to take care of me. He's so worried. It just sucks that he had to go. But I'll talk to you.